We needed to do a job for the whole brand. We needed to make it uh, easier for consumers to understand what Taylor's stood for. The main thing that we're really responding to is that consumers, are, uh, their tastes are um, rising, so they're demanding more of products, they're prepared to pay a little more, so that's the overall trend, the trend towards premium. The question of whether we're a nation of tea drinkers is probably quite controversial because it feels like it cuts to the heart of uh, what it is to be British, but we're definitely changing. Uh, if you look at it from a supermarket position, then tea is still very dominant, but if you then factor in the world of out of home, you know, all of the coffee shops up and down the country, you don't have to be a marketing expert to see that coffee has taken over. So uh, I think tea and coffee now are kind of probably slugging it out equally. I kind of liken the coffee market in the UK to where wine was in the 70s and 80s, where we're now at that stage where we're less intimidated by it, but our kind of access to really good quality is still quite limited and our knowledge about the category is still quite limited but consumers are waking up and they're I think really keen to find brands that offer really good quality but invite them in and make that world easy to understand. The craftsmanship that goes into the actual artwork on the packs was really important to us because we wanted to reflect the level of sort of attentiveness and the, the eye for detail that we have with our products in the artwork that uh, you see on pack. So to select three really astonishing artists and to really devote some time and resources to ensuring that there was care and attention in the pack felt sort of appropriate. We have illustrators from the United States, from Tokyo, all bringing to life very different expressions um, of the flavours and tastes through very different styles, um, which I, I hope um, will seem very differentiating when it's out there in the market. The world of uh, tea and coffee colliding with the world of cocktails and alcohol is, uh, while I wouldn't go as far as saying it's the next big thing, it's definitely a really interesting area. Uh, it offers a real opportunity to sort of show off all the possibilities of the flavours that we offer and there's a real partnership between artisan alcohol brands and companies like us. The act of taking a photo is very interactive. Uh, the act of sharing photos is very interactive. It's something we do which is actually quite a social thing to do.